Welcome to Tax Teach. I hope you're all having a great day. My name is Sean. I'm a certified public accountant specializing in taxation. Today, I want to talk about how to fill out Schedule 8812, the Child Tax Credit Schedule. Now, you have to fill out this schedule in order to receive the Child Tax Credit, which can be as high as 3,600 if you have children uh, five and younger, or if you have children that are older than five, so six to 17, you can get up to $3,000 for the 2021 tax year. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into how to fill out the child tax credit schedule 8812. All right, here's schedule 8812 credits for qualifying children and other dependents. And in this example, I'm gonna assume the taxpayer Jane Doe is a single mother of two children, one child being the age of five and one child being the age of eight. So with that fact pattern, I'm gonna go over how to fill out this schedule so let's get into it. Part one uh, dash A, child tax and other credit for other dependents. Line one, enter the amount from line 11 of your form 1040. This is your adjusted gross income. And for this taxpayer, we're gonna assume that there was $50,000 worth of adjusted gross income for the year. Lines 2A through 2D relate to if you worked overseas throughout the year. There's a little bit more complexity to calculating the child tax credit if you did work overseas throughout the year. I'm not gonna go over this case. In this example, I'm gonna assume that the taxpayer lived in the United States throughout the whole year and didn't make any income overseas. Now it's okay if you go on vacation you know, to a different country. Lines 2A through 2D really relate to if you were working overseas. Um, so in this example, I'm gonna assume that the taxpayer didn't. Line three is uh, summing down, summing line one in 2D to get that 50,000. Next, we will go to step four. And step four is where you enter the, num the amount of child dependence you had throughout the year, and therefore they, you know, they possibly could qualify for the child tax credit. And the example that I gave, um, Jane Doe has two children, one that is eight and then one that is five. So 4A, you put the total amount of child dependents that you have. So anybody under the age of 18 that you're taking care of. So I put two. And then 4B asks the number of children included on line 4A who are under the age of six. And in my example, we have a five-year-old, so we'd put one here. And then 4C, you do a little, little math here. You subtract line 4B from 4A to get one, since there is a child who is eight. Line five, essentially, if you have a child dependent, you're gonna to have to fill out this worksheet, line five worksheet. So let's let's go check out that worksheet. Now that we're at the line five worksheet, you can see that line one of the worksheet, you have the schedule 8812, line four B, which is the amount of dependents that are under the age of six. So we have one, we'd multiply one by 3,600. And what that 3,600 amount is, is the child tax credit you might be able to receive if you have any children under the age of six. And now line two, this is any child who is six or older and you put 3,000. So it's a little bit reduced compared to children under the age of six. And then you do a little math here, you add the two to get 6,600 in my example. And here for you multiply the 8812 line 4A by 2,000. So we had two times 2,000 is 4,000. Um, this, we're getting ready to calculate if there's any phase out, which I'll go over later. And then we do a little math, some more math here, subtract line four from three to get that 2,600. Here, you enter the amount below based off your filing status. Since the, the taxpayer Jane Doe is a single mother, um, you could put we would put head of household here. We would put 4,375, because that is the most beneficial um, filing status for her, most likely. Now we enter the, in line seven, enter the smaller of line five or line six. In this case, 
it's 2,600 is a smaller amount, so we put 2,600. And now we go to line eight. And line eight, since Jane Doe most likely is head of household in this example, we're gonna, in the most beneficial filing status, we're gonna put 112,500 for the line eight amount. Line nine's a little math. We do um, subtract line eight from line three. So we do, you know, 112,500 subtract 6,600. Um, if zero enter zero, in this case it would be zero. If more than zero, there's a little bit more math you do here, but in this case we put zero for this, for this example. And what line 10 does, it, it calculates the phase out that would, might be applicable if you're making over 112,500 um, if you're head of household. If you're single, uh, you, would, you would do 75,000 would be your uh, limit to where you start getting phased out. So for every $1,000 you're over, 75,000 if you're single, head of household 112,500, um, if you're married filing jointly 150,000. Every thousand over that, you have a $50 reduction in your child tax credit. And there should be a table popping up now showing um, that information. Line 11, you do a little bit more math, you subtract the smaller, or you enter the smaller of line seven or 10. In this example, it'd be zero, so we put zero. And then you subtract line 11 from line three, so zero, uh, you subtract zero from line three, which is 6,600. And as, you see, as you can see here in line 12, we have 6,600. And that is a line five worksheet. This worksheet is calculating what child tax credit might be available for you to take for the tax year. So now we're gonna go back to our schedule 8812. We're back to the schedule 8812. And you can see in line five, we entered the, the total over line five worksheet, the 6,600 amount. Then we move down to line six. And this relates to any dependents that are over the age of 18. Um, if you have dependents over the age of 18, um, you still qualify for a credit. It's a lower amount, a dependent credit of around 500. And so what line six is trying to achieve is list any dependents that you are taking care of who are not that don't apply for the child tax credit, but you still can get the dependent tax credit. So if you have anybody you're taking care of that's over 18 or older, you put the number here in line six. And you, as you can see in line seven, you multiply line six amount um, by 500. And this is your dependent uh, tax credit that might be applicable to you. In the example I am going over, we just have two children, so we don't put anything in line six. Line eight, you're summing your child tax credit in line five and then your dependent credit in line seven. So in our example, we have 6,600. Right here, line nine, this is another phase out where if, if you are a single head of household or any other status that's not marrying filing jointly, if you make over 200,000, there might be another phase out that might lower your child tax credit. The first phase out lowers your child tax credit to 2000, which was the old child tax credit. And then if you make over 200,000, your child tax credit gets even smaller from that 2000 amount. So in line nine, you put 200,000, because that's, that's the second phase out where it starts. And then line 10, you do some math, you do 200,000 minus your AGI in line three. In this case, our taxpayer um, won't have to deal with the fa any phase outs. So that's why in line 10, you have zero. Uh, line 11 also tries to calculate any phase out if applicable to you. You multiply line 10 by 0.05, And then we go to line 12, do some more math, and we get 6,600. 13, we check a box here, check all boxes that apply to you. And keep in mind this taxpayer did not work overseas so the first question asks check here if you 
or your spouse had a principal place of abode in the United States for more than half of, of 2020. So we checked this yes, because our taxpayer lived in the United States and worked in the United States for over half the year. You also check here if you were a bona fide resident of Puerto Rico for 2021. So keep in mind, check the box in 13 that's applicable to you. And if you check box 13, you'd go to part 1-B. If you didn't select anything in line 13, you would go to part 1-C, which I will not go over in this example. This relates more to people who worked overseas throughout the year, which I'm not going over. So let's go back to part 1-B and go over how to fill out this portion. All right, so here's part one dash B, 14A as in a smaller line seven or line 12. Line seven here is zero, and then line 12 is 6,600, so you put zero here for 14A. 14B asks to subtract line 14A from line 12. 14A to zero, line 12 is 6,600, so you would just enter 6,600 here in 14B. 14C, if line 4A is zero, enter zero, otherwise enter the amount um, credit limit worksheet. In this case, we put zero since line 14 is zero. 14D, some more math, enter the smaller of line 14A or 14C. So 14E, we put zero. And then 14E, we add up all the lines, all the 14 lines to get 6,600. 14F, now, in 2021, some taxpayers received advanced child tax credit payments, and you should have received a letter 6419 that highlights all these payments that you received throughout the year. This is uh, an advanced child tax credit payment you would receive, getting that credit early. In this, in this example, I'm going to assume that this taxpayer, Jane Doe, received 2000 dollars worth of advanced child tax credit um, payments and she should have received a letter 6419 which summarizes the amounts so we put 2000 here in 14f and what 14g does is we subtract the 6600 by the the tax credit we've already received throughout the year the 2000 to get 4600 14h enter the smaller of line 14 D or 14G, so we put zero here. Now we subtract, and then for 14I, we, you would subtract line 14H from 14G, and this is the child tax credit that you would receive when you file your tax return. As you can see, you're eligible for the 6,600 amount of child tax credit, but since you received some payments throughout 2021, you only will receive 4,600 when it comes time to, to file your tax return. So in total, you'll get that 6,600 amount. Um, and this 4,600 is the number to get you there. And that is how you fill out the schedule 8812 under the fact pattern I gave where you have a, a single mother with two children, one child being five, one child being eight. It's a pretty simple fact pattern, but I was hoping this would be helpful going over how to fill out the form so that when it comes time to fill out your tax return, you have um, an okay idea of how to fill out the form. That concludes the video. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you liked the video, hit the like button. It lets me know that I'm creating good videos for you all. Also, hit the subscribe button. It's free. It keeps you up to date on videos I post in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next video.